Hi all, welcome to the tutorial video of Embedded Systems 6th module. In this module, I will be explaining the introduction part to EDLC. The points that will be covered through this video are what is EDLC, why EDLC and what are the objectives of EDLC. What is EDLC? Embedded Product Development Lifecycle is an analysis design implementation based standard problem solving approach for embedded product development. In any product development application we consider analysis, design and implementation. What is analysis? Analysis involves understanding what product needs to be developed. Design involves what approach to be used to build that particular product. Implementation is developing the product by realizing and understanding the design. Why EDLC? EDLC is essential for understanding the scope and the complexity of the work involved in embedded systems development. It is used for any developing embedded product. EDLC defines interaction and activities among various groups of a product development phase. For example, project management, system design. The next important topic is objectives of EDLC. The ultimate aim of any embedded product in a commercial production setup is to produce marginal benefit. Marginal is expressed in terms of ROI, which means return on investment. And this investment for product development includes Initial investment, manpower, infrastructure investment, etc. A product is said to be profitable only if the turnover from the selling of the product is more than the overall investment expenditure. For this, the product should be acceptable by the end user and it should meet the requirements of the end user in terms of quality, reliability and functionality. So, it is very essential to ensure that the product is meeting all these criteria. EDLC has three primary objectives namely ensuring high quality for products, risk minimization and defect prevention through management and maximize the productivity. The first objective is ensuring high quality for products. The primary definition of quality in any embedded product development is return on investment achieved by the product. The expenses for developing the product might be the initial investment, developer recruiting, training and infrastructure requirement. In order to survive in a market, quality is a very important factor to be taken care of while developing the product. Qualitative attributes depend on the budget of the product. So, the budget allocation is a very important factor. Budget allocation might have been done after studying the market, the trends in the market and the requirements of product and the competition in the market etc. The next important objective is risk minimization and defect prevention in product development through project management. You might be thinking what is the significance of project management or why project management is essential in product development. It is always an additional expenditure to this product. But if we take the example of making a chicken dish, we find out the management activity from that is essential in the beginning phase. But in the preparation phase, it can be handled by mom itself. So, there are some projects in embedded product development which requires loose or tight project management. If the product development project is a simple one, a senior developer itself can take charge of the management activity and no need for a skilled project manager to look after it. So, project management adds an extra cost to the budget. But it is always essential for ensuring the development process is going in the right direction or not. Projects in EDLC requires loose project management or tight project management. This you can take the example of the chicken dish example. Project management is required for predictability, 
coordination and risk management. What is predictability? To analyze the time taken for the product to complete. Analyze the time to finish the product. Now what is coordination? Resources needed to do the job. The resources here means the developers. These developers need a coordination to complete the project. Risk management. Backup of resources to overcome the critical situation. Ensuring defective product is not developed. These are the two points in risk management. The next important objective is increased productivity. Increased productivity is a measure of efficiency as well as ROI which is return of investment. Different ways to improve the productivity are saving the manpower. For example, the productivity of a system is said to be doubled if a product developed by a team of X mem members in a period of X days is developed by another team of X by 2 members in a period of X days. Productivity in terms of returns is, in, is said to be increased if the product is capable of yielding maximum returns with reduced investment. The next method to improve productivity are use automated tools wherever it is required. Reusable effort. Work which has been done before for a previous product can be used if there are some similarities between the previous and the present product. Fourth point, use of resources with specific set of skills which exactly matches the requirements of the current product, which reduces the time in training the resource. Resource here means the developers. So, concluding the video, here is what we learned. What is EDLC? Why EDLC? And what are the objectives of EDLC? Embedded product development life cycle is an analysis design implementation based standard problem solving approach for embedded product development. EDLC is essential for understanding the scope and the complexity of the work involved in embedded systems development. EDLC's objectives Ensuring high quality for products Risk minimization and defect prevention through management maximize the productivity. In the next video, I will be explaining about the EDLC phases which is a very important topic in this module. Thank you.